Hey, it's Mark Ling here again, and now we're going to look at the references page of your website. This is where you're going to um, either link to or at least reference a bunch of scholarly articles related to your topic. Okay, so um, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to look at, um, it's going to be relationships advice for women. So we're going to say something like um, love and relationships, press enter, and see what we can find. I'm at scholar.google.com, by the way, scholar.google.com. I'm looking for, I'm not so much PDFs, I'm looking for more for scientific papers, matter of love, consumers, relationships with brands, measuring passionate love and intimate relationships. I'll click on that one there. All right, so Journal of Adolescence, Passionate Love and Intimate Relationships. So now what I'm going to do is I need to turn that into a reference. So I go to conversionmaps.com slash citation generator. Conversionmaps.com slash citation generator. So the title is Measuring Passionate Love and Intimate Relationships. Measuring Passionate Love in Intimate Relationships. Okay, so this is a print up. Uh, looks like it's a print one, right? Um, so we've got Elaine Hatfield, Susan Spritcher. So contributors. Elaine Hatfield and add another contributor. Not sure how that worked there. I see, I've got to actually type them in both now like this. Elaine Hatfield, Susan Spritcher. Is that correctly spelt? Make sure I spelt that. Spritcher, that's right, okay done correctly. Journal of Adolescence 1986. So Journal of Adolescence. Um, the year published, 1986. Just put, put in everything you can get basically. Uh, volume 9, 383 to 410. 9, 3, and that's all that we've been able to grab out of this. So now we just click Create Citation. And there we go. That's what it's given us. We can take out a couple of those commas there. But essentially, it's given me exactly what I need. So now I can just press Command-C to copy that. And we go over to our... Oops, I'm on the wrong page here. I need to be over here in WordPress, and now I just need to click on References there. And start writing block and Control v Bam, I've got a reference in here that is relevant to this topic. I can even write Volume 9, there we go. Uh, it's probably an extra full stop there, but there we go. Done, and now... It's simply a matter of trying to add in at least, say, a dozen of these kind of references to this page. I'll just do, um, I'll maybe do one more. Um, so if I go back, uh, let's see, I might just type um, men and love. Uh, Women and men in love, who really feels it and says it first? There we go. Journal of Social Psychology. You may end up getting a lot of good info as well to go back and read some of these articles if you want to like write articles for yourself and stuff like that. I mean, we definitely look at these when we create our products in general. Uh, we learn a lot from them. Um, but in terms of your affiliate site setup, it's quite important. Um, What's well, not essential, but it is important. It just makes your site to a human reviewer look a lot more... Um, it just makes it look a lot more trustworthy and official with all of this stuff in there. And they're all add to, uh, they're all contributing factors. Marissa Harrison, Jennifer C. Short, Shortall. So in this case, Melissa Harrison, I'll just double check I got that right. Jennifer Shortall, yep, C and A, Melissa A, C, there we go, and then 
the next bit was it is the journal of social psychology issue six journal of social psychology and it is um it is volume 151 and it's year 2011 volume 151 i don't know the page number year 2011 i'll just see if it's got any page numbers in there listed uh it doesn't really seem to say page number so i just go without the page numbers okay it's got here download citation i mean they may already have a citation but if you want to keep your format consistent it's good to use a tool like this one here conversionmaps.com slash citation generator um this is one that we created for you so now we've got um citations we'll just grab that there okay that's obviously our previous one and now i press Control c and now i can add it into my page simply I go into here press enter oops I didn't paste that correctly did I uh, control C try that again there you go that's better um, and I'm pretty happy with the formatting there. It all looks, all looks good. Okay, so that's pretty much how it's done. Um, you probably want to change it to being in alphabetical order though. So in which case I just move that down one. So R becomes before T H A R H A T, and then it's simply a matter of just adding in um, a ton more references to this page. All right, that's it from me for this video. Obviously, I'm, you can check back and you'll see I will have added a ton more references after this, but um, you see how they're added. That's it from me.